know that what Floyd do. A lot of people don't know what Floyd. Every, everything that Floyd said right there, the Chrome Hub bed, the, the uh, Maybach, the Lloyd shit, that was all in my post. That oh, was that was you all, posted that. You posted that. Oh wow, I ain't even realized that to be honest. Chrome bag. Right. Lloyd shit. Gavonta Davis, also known as Tank, and Leonard Ellaby, Floyd Mayweather's longtime friend and business partner, have found themselves at odds with the boxing legend himself. What started as a promising partnership under the Mayweather Promotions banner has soured, leaving a trail of accusations and broken trust. The heart of the dispute lies in money, or rather, the lack of it. Both Davis and Ellaby have leveled serious claims against Mayweather, alleging that they were not properly compensated for their work. Davis, a rising star in the boxing world, suggests his talent and dedication weren't reflected in his earnings. There were times when I felt like I was putting in all the work, winning all the fights, but wasn't seeing the money I deserved, Davis remarked in a recent interview. Ellerbe, who once stood shoulder to shoulder with Mayweather, paints a similar picture. We built something great together, but somewhere along the line things changed, Ellerbe stated, a hint of disappointment lingering in his voice. Loyalty goes both ways, and I don't feel like mine was reciprocated. Maybach. Oh. He said. So you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking, because I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different or what is it? You know, it just. It, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point. The accusations go beyond just missed payments. Both Davis and Ellaby allege that Mayweather used intimidation tactics to keep them silent. Davis spoke of veiled threats and a constant sense of being under pressure. There were comments made, situations that made me feel uncomfortable, he revealed. It was like being told, if you speak up, there will be consequences. Ellaby, a seasoned businessman, wasn't immune to these tactics either. There were moments when things were said that could only be interpreted as threats, he confided. It created a hostile work environment and frankly it was scary. Mayweather, for his part, has vehemently denied all these allegations. He portrays himself as a victim of disgruntled associates trying to tarnish his reputation. They're just bitter because they're not relevant anymore, he stated in a recent social media post. Mm. And, I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, You'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the, yeah, that's a part that's of the deal. He don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. And y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. <laughs> that's exclusive. That's, that's yeah. exclusive. Yeah. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Tank, don't cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. going to come out. All right. Yeah, lastly, I want to ask you about this. Um... However, the public narrative seems to be shifting. Fans and boxing analysts are scrutinizing Mayweather's business practices more closely. Questions are being raised about the treatment of his fighters and the transparency of his promotional company. The fallout from these accusations has been significant. Davis, frustrated by the lack of financial backing and the intimidating atmosphere, ultimately decided to part ways with Mayweather promotions. Alerby, after years of loyalty, also distanced himself from the camp. This public feud has cast a long shadow over Mayweather's legacy. The man once revered as a boxing genius is now facing scrutiny for his business dealings. The once unbreakable bond between mentor and protege, between friends and business partners, lies fractured. Tell that to, tell Floyd to get on live. Tell him show where yet. Yo, them people over in Dubai that money. Tell him get on live right now. And he old people in Saudi Arabia money too. Broken <laughs> out here scamming people. Oh, you fancy? Huh? Don't get on live right now. Saudi Arabi, YouTube.com. The truth, as always, may lie somewhere in between. There could be misunderstandings, misinterpretations and hurt egos fueling the fire. Perhaps a lack of clear communication and financial agreements led to the current situation. Only time will tell how this story unfolds. Will there be a reconciliation, a settling of scores, 
Or will this bitter feud continue to stain the world of boxing? One thing remains certain. The trust that once bound them together appears to be broken, and the damage may be irreparable. The boxing world has been rocked by a series of explosive allegations from Javonta Davis, a rising star known as Tank, directed at boxing legend Floyd Mayweather. What began as a simmering tension over finances has escalated to accusations of a shockingly personal nature. Davis's claims have sent shockwaves through the sport, leaving fans reeling and questioning everything they thought they knew about these two figures. At the heart of the conflict lies a narrative of broken trust. Davis, a fighter previously under Mayweather promotions, alleges that he was not adequately compensated for his talent and victories. He describes feeling undervalued and underpaid, despite his dedication and the success he brought to the company. I was winning fights, bringing in money, but I wasn't seeing it reflected in my pockets, Davis stated in a recent interview, a hint of bitterness lacing his words. It just didn't feel right. However, the situation took a dramatic turn when Davis levied a far more disturbing accusation. He claimed that Mayweather, his former mentor and promoter, made inappropriate advances towards his daughter. Davis, visibly shaken, spoke of a disturbing encounter that left him feeling violated and enraged. This wasn't about business anymore, he revealed, his voice trembling. This was about something personal, something that crossed a line I wouldn't tolerate. Predictably, Mayweather vehemently denied these claims. He called them outrageous lies, fabricated by a disgruntled fighter seeking revenge. Tank is desperate for attention, Mayweather stated in a social media post. He'll say anything to get his name in the headlines. The public, however, remains divided. Some fans stand by Mayweather, a boxing icon with a long and illustrious career. They view him as a target of opportunistic accusations designed to damage his reputation. Others, however, are troubled by the severity of the allegations and the emotional weight carried by Davis's words. You know, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. But I knew for sure that wasn't going to be enough to beat me. It's cool. It's, it's all right. I don't really think too much of it. He's it not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So... It, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll pitch you in bad situations. The media frenzy surrounding these claims has been relentless. Analysts dissect every statement, every social media post, searching for clues to the truth. Experts weigh in on the power dynamics between a boxing promoter and his fighters, questioning the potential for manipulation and abuse. Meanwhile, the boxing community grapples with the fallout. Sponsors are cautious, hesitant to endorse fighters embroiled in such a scandal. Upcoming fights are clouded by uncertainty, with questions swirling about Davis's emotional state and Mayweather's ability to focus on the ring. The impact on Javonta Davis is undeniable. His boxing career, once on a meteoric rise, now faces an uphill battle. He must not only prove himself in the ring, but also navigate a legal minefield if he chooses to pursue his claims formally. The emotional toll is also evident, with Davis struggling to balance his desire for justice with the need to stay focused on his sport. The situation for Floyd Mayweather is equally precarious. His legacy, meticulously built over decades, is now under intense scrutiny. The public image of the undefeated champion is tarnished, replaced by a cloud of suspicion. Mayweather must not only defend himself against these allegations, but also rebuild the trust of fans and the boxing community. You gotta get a certain amount of fights within that time frame, or is it just it expires when it expires? Yeah, I think I 
I'm supposed to get three fights. I mean, they've been moving me right. I don't. It just, it just. Mayweather promotion been moving me right and they're doing what they do so much and they're doing me. It just. Floyd. Javonta, everybody's talking about Floyd. What does, what does Tank Davis want in his career? Besides, you know, the politics, the. The truth, as always, may be complex. There could be hidden motives, misunderstandings, and a mixture of emotions fueling this firestorm. Was this a genuine case of inappropriate behavior, or a calculated attack fueled by financial disagreements? Only time and potentially legal proceedings may shed light on what truly transpired. One thing remains tragically clear. A young fighter's career and a boxing legend's reputation hang in the balance. The once promising relationship between Davis and Mayweather has devolved into a bitter public feud with the potential to scar both men and the sport they represent. Like some confusion is Tank, a Mayweather Promotions fighter still, is he not? What is his kind of still his involvement with Mayweather Promotions or is it just all still PBC, Al Heyman? Yeah, kind of Tank is not promotions. signed to Mayweather Promotions. Okay, gotcha. He's not signed to Mayweather Promotions. His contract ran out yeah. and that's fine. Still but but as I always say, contracts don't define relationships. Yeah. Leonard Ellaby, the head honcho, the CEO of Mayweather Promotions is in a bit of a tiff with his most famous boxer, Floyd Mayweather Jr. It all boils down to money, more specifically, a disagreement over a whole lot of it, over $20 million to be exact. Alerby says Mayweather didn't give him his fair share of the earnings they made together. This bombshell allegation adds another layer of controversy to the already heated lawsuit filed by Javonta Davis and PBC against Mayweather. Elabe, who served as the CEO of Mayweather Promotions for many years, has come forward with a detailed account of what he believes is a systematic pattern of financial manipulation by Mayweather. In a press conference brimming with tension, Elerbe stated, For years, I put my heart and soul into building Mayweather Promotions. We achieved incredible things together, but there comes a point where you have to stand up for what's right. Elerbe's accusations are specific. He alleges that Mayweather, through a series of complex financial maneuvers, redirected commissions that were rightfully owed to Alerbe and other fighters on the Mayweather promotions roster. These commissions, a percentage of a boxer's earnings from a fight, are a crucial source of income for fighters and their representatives. It wasn't like a one-time thing, Alerbe continued, his voice laced with frustration. This was a systematic approach. There were fake shell companies set up, hidden clauses in contracts, the whole thing. Elabe went on to detail specific instances where he believes he was cheated out of his fair share. He presented documents and financial records that, according to him, supported his claims. We're the co-promoter of this car. We've done a phenomenal job with promoting the event. I'll continue to do that. I, as I stated, this isn't about me, whether somebody likes something or I could care less. I could care less. We put on the biggest and best events. And these are the things that the young fighters should learn from with being respectful. See, in this sport, you'll, you'll quickly find out when you, when you conduct... Mayweather, unsurprisingly, has vehemently denied all of Elabe's accusations. Through his spokesperson, Mayweather called Elabe's allegations outrageous lies fabricated by a disgruntled former employee. The statement went on to say, Floyd Mayweather has always been a fair and honest businessman. He has built his success on hard work and dedication, and he would never steal from anyone. The truth, as with many legal battles, likely lies somewhere in between. Elerbe's claims, if true, paint a disturbing picture of a business leader prioritizing personal gain over fair compensation for those who helped him achieve his success. However, Mayweather's spotless business reputation, cultivated over years of shrewd negotiations, precedes him. The boxing world is abuzz with the controversy. Fans and analysts are divided. Some believe Elabe's claims are a desperate attempt to get back at Mayweather after a falling out. Others find the allegations credible, especially in light of the Javonta Davis lawsuit, which also accuses Mayweather of manipulating finances for personal benefit. One thing is certain. These accusations cast a long shadow over Mayweather's legacy. The man who was once revered for his brilliance in the ring is now facing questions about his business ethics. Elerbe, on the other hand, is taking a significant gamble. If he can't prove his claims in court, he risks damaging his own reputation in the boxing world. I'm like a businessman. It all works out in your favor. You know, I don't have to fight Saturday. 
I'm, I'm promoting the I'm promoting the event along with Lou and TGB Promotions, and we have a spectacular event, and that's what we're looking to do. Um, put on a great event for the fans that are here in attendance, and all the millions of fans who will be watching. You did stand all the, up for yourself though, and you said, please, in a way, don't speak to me like that. So it did touch you. Well, he's not going to just. I'm not worried about it. this financial feud. Promises to be a long and ugly battle. Lawyers will be poring over financial records, witnesses will be called upon to testify, and the court of public opinion will be closely watching every move. At stake are not just millions of dollars, but also the reputations of two prominent figures in the world of boxing. The outcome of this case could have far-reaching consequences, not just for Mayweather and Elabe, but for the entire boxing industry. According to Elabe, he and Mayweather had a kind of handshake agreement, an informal deal, about how they would split their money. Elabe claims he was supposed to get 30% of Mayweather's earnings from boxing matches, but according to Elabe, Mayweather ended up giving him a much smaller cut, way less than they agreed on. Elabe says he kept quiet about it for a long time, but he finally decided he couldn't stay silent anymore. He says he feels like Mayweather has been lying to him and cheating him for years. Elabe told a sports reporter, I'm tired of not saying anything. I've been loyal to Floyd for a long time, and this is how he repays me? Mayweather hasn't said anything about Elabe's accusations yet, so it's unclear what's going to happen next between them. It might even affect their business together. Elabe is the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, the company that promotes Mayweather's boxing matches. So, things could get complicated if they can't work things out. In at Mayweather Promotions, um, seems like that's happened a couple times <laughs> over the course of the years, but I, I remember years ago I was thinking Richard Schaefer's going to take over, but now it is happening. Uh, thoughts on Leonard LRB making his way out? Um, I think Leonard is still in a good position. And um, I don't think that um, it was any animosity between Floyd and, and Leonard. I just think that um, it was just time for him to move on. The boxing world is buzzing with the news of a hefty lawsuit filed against Floyd Mayweather Jr. by his former protege, Javonta Davis, and his advisor, Al Heyman's Premier Boxing Champions, PBC. The lawsuit, a whopping $300 million, stems from what appears to be a major falling out between the once close-knit group. At the center of the controversy is a disagreement over a lucrative pay-per-view deal for Javonta Davis's upcoming fights. Davis, also known as Tank, is considered one of the rising stars in boxing, undefeated with a fierce fighting style. According to the lawsuit, PBC and Davis believe they were entitled to a bigger cut of the pay-per-view revenue for his upcoming bouts. They claim that Mayweather, who still holds significant influence over Davis's career due to a past promotional deal, interfered and prevented them from securing a more favorable deal. Javonta Davis, in a statement released through his lawyers, expressed his disappointment with the situation. This wasn't an easy decision to make, Davis said, but I believe I deserve fair treatment, and this lawsuit is about getting what I'm owed. He went on to say, I have nothing but respect for Floyd Mayweather for what he's achieved in boxing, but business is business, and I need to look out for my future. Al Heyman's PBC echoed Davis's sentiments. We've always strived to provide our fighters with the best opportunities, a representative for PBC stated. In this case, we believe Floyd Mayweather's actions went against the interests of Javonta Davis, and we're taking legal action to ensure he gets a fair shake. Uh, of course, Leonard is very wrapped up in uh, PVC type stuff here with this promotion and everything that they do. Do you think that played any part in uh, him leaving Mayweather promotion? Um, I guess it, it could have played a part. Um, I mean, if you're in between promotions and you're working with one and you're not working with the other, I mean, yeah, so, I mean, but, um, yes. On the other side of the ring, Floyd Mayweather has vehemently denied the allegations. Through his own spokesperson, Mayweather called the lawsuit frivolous and without merit. He claims that he has always acted in the best interests of Javonta Davis and that the proposed pay-per-view deal was more than fair. Tank is a talented fighter with a bright future, Mayweather's statement read. It's disappointing to see him go down this route, especially with someone who has always supported him. Mayweather has a history of shrewd business dealings in the boxing world. Throughout his undefeated career, he was known for meticulously negotiating his own fights and maximizing his earnings. Some boxing analysts believe this background might be fueling the current disagreement. They suggest that Mayweather, no longer a fighter himself, 
might be trying to maintain control over Davis's career and a significant chunk of his earnings. I think there was no animosity or anything because even even Floyd always spoke as, you know, he would always say that, you know, when Al Heyman has fights, you know, because he can he can always get his, his, his fighters on Al Heyman's shows. I mean, do you think it was a little difficult for uh, you know Leonard to be in a tough spot because obviously very close to Tank here, and then of course we know Floyd and Tank had their ups and downs, so uh, mostly downs recently. Yeah, so do you think that was? The lawsuit has sent shockwaves through the boxing community. Many fans are siding with Gavonta Davis, believing a young fighter deserves a fair shot at maximizing his earning potential. Others are hesitant to take sides, waiting to see how the evidence unfolds in court. One thing is certain, this lawsuit has the potential to significantly damage the relationship between Javonta Davis and Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather, who has always prided himself on his business acumen, now faces a major legal challenge. Davis, on the other hand, is putting his faith in the legal system to secure a more lucrative future for himself. Only time will tell how this legal battle will play out. But one thing is for sure, the boxing world will be watching closely as millions of dollars and potentially a once strong mentorship hang in the balance. Keep yourself updated with the latest news by subscribing to the channel and like the video.